Guys, so this is my 20 gallon high tank. This is devoted to my piranhas. I have two of them, a big guy over here, and a little guy around there somewhere, a smaller guy. And my crabs as well. There's about three crabs in there. Um, one crab here, another crab up there, that's the big guy, and another female who's usually hiding around somewhere. So, I have this little air dome in here for the crabs because I know they need air. They're not, you know, they're not strictly aqua creatures. They're not strictly in the water. They do need access to dry land, fresh water. Well, not fresh water, but air. So I got this in there, little critter keeper, the giant rock that I found from out back on it after I thoroughly washed it off, mind you. And I have a air tube going in there, air pump, you see the bubbles coming out. And a live plant. And then I have, yes, one live plant in there, which uh, mainly the crabs will nip on. And now, uh, oh, look, who decides to come out? Smaller of the two prongs. Um, I also have a lot of snails in here, okay? But now uh, we're gonna feed them some blood worms. All right, my girlfriend Caitlin is gonna put, she's gonna put them in. Alright, do you have them all in yet, babe? Alright, yeah. so back up so we can see everything. You can see the piranha zipping around a little bit. Looking for stuff. A lot of it ended up up here. Okay, but eventually all the bubbles, they're going to knock them around a little bit. They're going to float down to the bottom. It will sink down to the bottom. And I've had a lot of people, like, comment, well, a few people comment on Facebook about, you know, the crabs living together with the piranhas and the snails and how they get along. Um, I have not had any issues except for one isolated incident where I do believe this snail right here, I've been home for around two hours maybe, haven't really timed it, but the snail has not moved at all. You know, I've seen a lot of snails, and I did see one of the crabs picking at some snails the other day. So, I do believe one out of my dozens of snails did fall victim to one of the crabs. I'm missing the little one. So, so... <clears throat> Yeah, for the most part, they get along great. Piranhas don't really go after the crabs. Crabs don't go after the piranhas. Uh, but as soon as you put like a feeder fish in there, they will go to town. And we do have food specifically for the crabs. Don't put too much in there, babe. That's a good amount of crab food. That'll last them for, for, for a little while. Yeah, don't put too much in there, but hey, why not, I guess. Yeah, see him a little bit. That's the big guy over there. Plant that they nip at. See him over here, munching on something. This is my 20 gallon piranha slash crab crab tank.